Ranch community tell us they felt panicked and nervous today after Grand Mountain School went on lockdown. The school district and El Paso County Sheriff's Office say the lockdown alert was accidental. Parents say they want to know what led up to this false alarm. News Ties Peter Choi spoke with them. Parents say it is a fear that they don't want to face that your children's school is on lockdown. I spoke to them as they were picking up their children today. They tell me hearing the incident was, they describe, an emotional roller coaster. This just really freaked me out. Seeing a Facebook post about her grandchildren's school on lockdown. Here, but everyone was told to stay in their cars. She choked up. That just started kindergarten, so it's really scary. You know, she's just a little baby. Widefield School District 3 says the lockdown alarm went off at 10.30 Wednesday morning. The district says students and staff immediately follow lockdown protocol. Uh, which involves contacting the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, who come in and do a sweep of the building. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office says deputies arrive at the school in less than five minutes. We were able to conduct our normal searches in these situations to ensure that no one uh, was harmed and that there was no any active violence going on. This student is in the seventh grade. He says he was hiding inside the locker when everything happened. It was just kind of scary because one of the officers walked in twice with a gun. Some parents say finding out on the Facebook page was not the best option, asking the district for a better communication line with parents. If there was one dedicated person from the school responding to everybody and then just keep us updated, 30 minute update at least. We respond to every incident as if it's the real thing so that we can make sure that we are there as fast as possible to secure the property, ensure the safety of the students. Well, the district says all students will return to normal schedule on Thursday. The investigation will continue what and why the false alert happened in the first place. We'll keep you updated as more information becomes available. In Colorado Springs, Peter Choi, News 5.